What's going on YouTube? It is your guy, Consumer Reviews and DIYs. We are back in the building with another sneaker release. Now today we have the women's shoe. This is gonna be the Air Jordan 14 Retro Low uh, with the Ellie Mae collaboration with Jordan. Um, I think they're also calling these fortunes. As you can see, we have a bigger size that we bought to the channel. So my guys, that's, I guess a 10, 10 and a half you guys will be able to shake this. Let's go ahead and take a look at the boxing. As you can see on top, we got some Ellie Mae signature badging. And then on the opposite side of the box, we got an A as well. Don't see too much else other than that. Now let's go ahead and get into the unboxing of the shoe. We'll take a look at them to see whether or not you guys are feeling these. Now. As you can see, we got the Willy Wonka magic ticket paper as we open up. All right, let's take a look at the shoe. All right, not bad. Let me go ahead and zoom out a little bit so you guys can catch the initial impression. Now, I know you guys are seeing that right there. Come on, Nike. Come on, Jordan. What's that? What is that? See, this is, you know what? Let's go ahead and just get the review done. All right, so as you can see on the inside, we got the Ellie Mae signature. Now we have that green on Jordan on the tongue. Now that's clean. All right, got the jump man there. What's this so again some more of the um looks like it might have came from the paper i'm not sure but we definitely got a defective pair and here's the bottom all right let me move the box out of the way box out of the way and Let's take a look at the, the back of the shoe, and then we'll get the second one out here too, so we can get a good comparison. All right, liking that Jordan on the back. Now the second shoe, we see that we do have an extra set of laces, which are gonna be like a, a brownish, well tan color, similar to what the shoe is. So if you wanna pull it off with that, you can do that as well. All right, but other than that, I mean, this is pretty much what you get with the Ellie Mae uh, 14. Anybody from the channel was able to come across these? How was your pair? Did you get a, a pair with defects or was your pair on point? Unlike the pair that uh, I have right now. All right, YouTube, give me your opinion, your impressions on the Ellie Mae 14s. Um, this, this is not my size. I am a, um, 11 and a half true to, true to size. So this is about a size too small for me. Um, but I will go ahead and since I really appreciate your YouTube family, I will throw them on feet. Uh, so you can just get a look at them, all of my smaller feet gang. If you decide to get them, you at least know uh, what it's going to look like on feet. I'll be back in a moment with that. All right, YouTube, we are back with that on feet. We have the Air Jordan 14 Ellie Mays, and as you can see, here's the on feet. Just threw some light blue denim jeans on with the shoes. I will say again, these are definitely too small for me, but they're not as bad as I thought that they were gonna be. Um, so they, I would say that they run pretty true to size, or maybe even slightly bigger. If this was a 12 and a half, which would be an 11 in women's, it, I probably could, could do it with no problem. Wouldn't be my preference, but I, could, but I could probably do it. So what are you guys thinking? The women's shoe, but can you get down with it? Any ladies that's looking at the video, is this a pickup or are these not that good?
Now, would you keep the black laces in or would you go ahead and swap them out for the tan laces? All right, YouTube, this has been my review and on feet. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for additional content. And I will catch you guys on the next video.